Hey there, traders and investors. It's Rod with Powder. Welcome back on the Pursuit of Wealth. It's Wednesday, April 21st, and today we're going to be doing a daily market recap and focusing on the stock of the day, which is Dragonfly, ticker symbol DFLY. Huge, huge move today. So congrats to the bulls first and foremost, but we were up over 35% from the low of the day. So we'll look at the Dragonfly chart in just a moment. I'll put some timestamps in the description below, but we're gonna go over some news and events as we always do. And then we'll look at the broader market and we'll bring up the Dragonfly chart. So SPAC transactions come to a screeching halt amid SEC crackdown and cooling retail investor interest. So in March, we saw 109 new deals already this month. We've only hit 10. So huge, huge slowdown as the SEC issued guidance that would classify SPAC warrants as liabilities rather than equity instruments and Bank of America's client flow showed that retail SPAC buying slowed down significantly. So not a major red flag, but a red flag nonetheless, and we need to start being cautious in the market as we know we are at all time highs. Eventually it's gonna come a time where we run out of buyers and we hit a temporary top or at least a top of some sort. Who knows, it could be a blow off top. We'll have to take it day by day. And Chipotle earnings smash estimates as online sales overtake in-person orders. I still haven't eaten here. I don't know what's going on, but I have to check this out because there's a lot of hussing and fussing going on about Chipotle Mexican Grill. Let me know in the comments below if you've eaten there. Do you enjoy their food? I don't know how I haven't eaten there yet. Yellen outlines bold climate agenda calling for net zero emissions by 2035. And I also found that interesting as it went along with this JP Morgan warns of Bitcoin weakness as futures are liquidated. Again, some red flags that we're starting to see some narrative change. And if after the crisis that we're in right now, after we get past this and after we're done printing all this money, is the focus going to shift to climate change as the main issue you know, that humans are facing? And if so, how is Bitcoin going to react to that with such huge, huge energy levels that it takes to you know, process these transactions and mining? And you can't help but wonder if this is all part of their agenda, and I could see that being the you know regulations or carbon taxes or something like that, higher taxes in general being a potential catalyst, and then just saying that Bitcoin is bad for the environment. There's other cryptos that don't use proof of work in mining, which you know there's a there's a bunch of them now, but XRP, XLM, and Cardano, just to name a few. So taking a look at the crypto space, we are pulling back here quite a bit. And we are in 15 minute downtrend now on Bitcoin, but no major red flags. Again, we are consolidating. Ethereum's holding up really, really well and seeing a lot of bullish analysts. People are predicting 4,000 by the summer and we have a daily inside bar on watch for Bitcoin. So we'll be watching this potential EMA 12 and 26 bear cross as well. And whichever way this breaks, we either continue with daily consolidation or we get the daily bounce underway and we have a lack of resistance up until about 65,000 there on the daily. So taking a look at SPY, the S&P 500, we did see a nice strong move into the end of the day and the daily bounce underway here as we broke the inside bar bullish after holding EMA 12 and close near the high of the day. It looks like we could be testing all time highs by the end of the week. And we have all time highs up at 417.91. Nice strong close, we've been holding EMA 12, we're still in a weekly uptrend. That is the most important thing and the dollar essentially the opposite, closing near the low of the day, but we did bounce and break the high of yesterday, but close near the low of the day, not surprising with the S&P 500 closing extremely strong. IWM was up almost two and a half percent today, QQQ up almost 1% again, close at the high of the day, but we didn't break the high of yesterday we hit, came close, 339.52, we hit 339.48, so we need to be cautious there of a potential top and potential double top. SMH was extremely strong, up over 2.5% today. Daily bounce underway, closed above the EMA, so that is good. TAN, solar sector was up almost 3.5%. Oil was weak today, and this was after we confirmed a daily bull flag, and it ended up being a bit of a bull trap and a major red flag here as we Confirmed the daily bull flag and then went straight into daily consolidation. And here we are consolidating again and losing the EMAs. We've got a lack of support down around until the 5765 area. Gold and silver seeing higher highs today and extremely strong. Silver with a really nice day, but getting close to 2663 resistance. We had 2664. So again, be cautious of potential double tops there. 
Three and a half percent for the biotech sector, daily bounce underway, and a lot of inside bars that broke bullish today. XLE, the energy sector, was weak, but ended up finishing in the green by about 1.2 percent. Financial sectors, financial sector broke the high of yesterday, but not by much, just by about four pennies. And XLV, we had an algo alert on XLV increasing bull volume. We are daily overbought. We are getting a little extended. And we have no real daily, some clear support level down till about 113.35. So if we do top out here after setting a new all-time high again today, we close near the high of the day, but we need to be cautious here as we have a lack of support. And once we do lose the low of the previous daily candle on the healthcare sector, we'll be watching first and foremost for rotation into other sectors like the tech sector. We also had an algo alert on QQQ, so I wouldn't be surprised if we see, you know, if we see a little bit of musical chairs between the two and we see money rotate into QQQ tomorrow or whenever we top out on the healthcare sector, that is what I'm going to be watching out for. So taking a look at DFLY on the daily, take a look at this bounce. We had a low of 137. I actually entered at a position at 145. I've been waiting to enter this for a long, long time since we had that uplisting news, but take a look at that bounce from the low of the day, roughly up about 36%. We are coming close to EMA 12, which has been rejecting the price now for the last couple of weeks, 11 trading days. And we haven't even been able to get above EMA 26 since all the way, we're looking back 34 trading days. So we'll wanna break the high of today, tomorrow, 185, to have confidence that the daily bounce is underway we have EMA 12 right there at $1.89 and then $2 psychological. Then we have EMA 26 at 2.10. So congrats to the bulls once again. And just taking a look at the daily chart here. So I did draw out the Fibonacci levels and you can see that we pulled back right into the golden pocket. And that was my entry off daily oversold and pulling back into that golden, golden pocket. And this came after fighting a huge huge amount of FOMO, right? Um, I entered back around 40 cents or 50 cents and I ended up selling it around 60 or 70 cents. Thinking I made quite a bit of money, but then we ended up running about 10X from those levels and we had uplisting news and just huge momentum in the drone space. And I expect that to only increase in the future. So this is a long-term hold for me. It was a smaller position. And like I said, just looking to hold that for the long-term and I was fighting FOMO waiting for an entry and I wanted an entry under $2 and got it under $1.50. So that was a gift in my opinion. And I'll be looking to hold this for the long term. Taking a look at the monthly chart. So we did have EMA 12 there, which we dipped below and the 10 monthly moving average at $1.32. And taking a look at the weekly chart, again, we're losing EMAs. We're not completely out of the woods yet. I'd like to see us close this week over EMA 26, which is at $1.89 but we could even see a bear cross of those EMAs. So again, I just entered a small amount and if we do get close to a dollar, I'll look to add again, but essentially just set and forget and a long-term hold. I also had another set and forget long-term hold play from yesterday, actually two days ago now, and that was DDD, so 3D Systems. I did a video, you can check that out for a little bit more in depth, but we had an inside bar that broke bullish today and it was tightening up. I entered at around 18, I think it was 1850s or 1860s, and we got a low as low as 1846, and this is another name where we were in that golden pocket, and we almost got down to the 0.786 fib, and just keep in mind, we were at $56 there not too long ago, so that's about a 70% decline and all-time highs on the stock up at $97, so entered, entered on that daily consolidation, and monthly higher lows. And we are coming up on EMA 12 to close at the high of the day, extremely strong. NGA also had a great day today, so congrats to the Bulls. In all three of those names, on the bear list we had Netflix, so just got bombed after earnings, MVMD and Coinbase. Netflix, I did a video on this yesterday. We ended up finishing with a doji, so a little bit indecision on the day today, but we hit a low of 480 yesterday in extended hours on that negative reaction to earnings. And that came after terrible, terrible subscriber growth. So going to end it there, let me know in the comments below if you picked up any DDD or DFLY in the last couple of days. Those are two names that I'm extremely bullish on, both 
those individual tick, you know, those individual stocks and companies, but also the entire sector. So let me know if you picked up any of those or if you need any help. If you're looking at any tickers, be sure to list them below. I'll do my best to get back to you and consider checking out powgroup.ca or pursuitofwealthgroup.com for a one week free trial. With that, gonna end it there. Thanks for joining us on the Pursuit of Wealth for a daily market recap. And we'll see you a little bit later on today for an MJ Sector Review. Take care, everybody.